Welcome back to the Nuggets of Gold podcasting YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be briefly going over what I think is the most important matchup in the 49ers-Lions game. So for the 49ers to, to come away with a dub, I, I do think that they have a serious advantage on a team like the Detroit Lions, but there's one part where they're going to really need to dominate, um, and it might be a little bit tougher than I think most people are expecting it to be. Um, it's going to be the edge players for the 49ers and, and some interior defensive line guys kicking out and going against the tackles, but really the edge guys against the Lions tackles. Now, I would say that the Lions, probably their biggest strength on their roster is going to be their two tackles, Taylor Decker and, of course, Penny Sewell, who was just taken very early in the first round. Um, Decker was actually taken a couple years back in the middle of the first round. I believe he was the 16th pick, I want to say. Um, but looking into this 49ers matchup against the Lions, now, initially, I thought it was going to be Penny Sewell versus Nick Bosa, and I was I was really excited for that. I thought, you know, what a way for Penny Stool to, to, you know, step into the league and go against a guy who's coming off of a ACL tear and, you know, just wants to prove every, to prove to everyone, you know, how great he is. Turns out, sounds like, it, it sounds like Nick Bosa isn't really going to be on, you know, going up against Penny Sewell that much. It definitely sounds like it's more of him versus Taylor Decker. However, Penny Sewell is still, still going to have his work cut out for him going against primarily Eric Armstead and D Ford. Now, we don't know how much we'll see a D Ford, but if you're a rookie tackle and every once in a while the Niners just toss in one of the fastest defensive linemen, one of the fastest edge players in the league, it's going to spell some trouble. I also do expect that we're going to see, because Nick Bosa bounced around each side, so we're going to see Nick Bosa versus Penny Sewell every once in a while. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll get some highlighted third downs where, where that's the case, but the, the Niners edge players are going to have to really step up. Uh, might see some Samson Ebukam on both these guys, but – Taylor Decker, Penny Sewell, you know, this is where their offense is going to kind of, that's like what they're going to rely on is that they're going to be able to contain Eric Armstead, Nick Bosa, D Ford, Samson Ebukam. That's what the, I mean, if the, not, if the Lions are going to have a chance to really score points, points offensively, they're going to need to throw the ball because the Niners run game against the Lions, against the Lions defense isn't a very strong matchup for the Lions. Like that's a pretty tough spot. I would expect the Niners to run the ball down their throat. So on offense, they're unfortunately for the Lions, they're going to have to you know rely on Jared Goff going out there and throwing to a not so good re receiving core. Uh, Tyrell Williams, Amonra St. Brown are, are the main guys out there, um, but they're going to need these two tackles to really, really play well and give them at least an advantage in that department. Um, if the Lions are able to run the football effectively outside the tackles, that will definitely help their case as well. Maybe put them into less third and long situations. Uh, but to me, if the 49ers are going to go out there and dominate, you're going to need to see Nick Bosa playing really well against Taylor Decker and also against Penny Sewell. But, you know, the 49ers need to take advantage of, and I get that he's, you know, a top 10 pick and the highest class, highest tackle in the class, but they're going to need to take advantage of a rookie tackle because we see that offensive linemen, a lot of times it takes them a little while to adjust to the league. I think there's a very good chance that's going to be the case with Penny Sewell. Not that he's not going to be a fantastic player down the road, but he's been struggling in preseason. And now you toss him up against a hungry defensive line, a defensive line that, you know, is so deep where they're going to have fresh guys coming off the bench all the time. Um, I didn't even talk about Arden Key yet today. I mean, he's going to be a reserve piece that's going to be coming off the bench. So we'll see like how many guys, you know, come in and out for the 49ers against Taylor Decker and against Penny Sewell. But those guys are going to have to play really strong games for the Lions to be successful. Um, I don't know if I'm expecting them to. I feel like this is the the hardest kind of matchup to predict just because they're very good players. And yes, the Niners have a great defensive line, but if you have really good tackles and they're able to hang in there, um, they could do well. I think that it'll probably come down to, you know, how many third and longs are there where it's a clear passing down because any – any tackles at a disadvantage when the defensive lineman knows it's a pass. I mean, you're, you're dropping back and they don't have to, you know, protect their gap or, or keep their assignments that much at all, especially if it's third and 10 plus. So the 49ers get in those situations. You really want to see Nick Bosa. It doesn't matter who it is, but you want to see this defensive line eat, uh, eat on Sunday. So got a couple of days until the game. I'm very, very excited. I think the 49ers should handle the lions relatively easily. Um, if they don't, I don't think it's time to start raising any red flags. We've seen that the 49ers, we've seen that week one is just, it's kind of a crapshoot. But 
I do think that this is a huge matchup. And if the 49ers are going to be very successful this year, they're going to need this defensive line to be amazing. And week one, we can see a great test against Taylor Decker and Penny Sewell. Um, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Just wanted to you know talk about that real quick. On Saturday, we'll be having Jason Aponte and Aiden will also be back on. So for Saturday and Sunday, we'll have two segments with those guys. But that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow, I'll talk about, I don't know, some, some type of subject. But that's going to do it for today. So I will talk to you guys very soon.